This is a short training video for Commonwealth, which is a health information exchange that we have partnered with in order to be able to see health records from other healthcare agencies. This is Brian Yee, Cerner Trainer and Health Information Analyst at Magnolia Clinic. There may be times that your patients have told you we have were seen at the hospital at St. John's, at Los Robles, at Cottage, at CMH, and you want to be able to retrieve records or also import some of those records into our Cerner or everybody in our healthcare agency to view once you have imported those. Currently, St. John's is available. Some of those other hospitals um, and healthcare agencies we hope will be available in the future. Today, I'm covering the provider workflow. Each step of the way, the front office and the back office and the providers have responsibilities for uh, confirming and enrolling and reconciliation of the Commonwealth information. So first, you're going to navigate to your patient's chart. Once you're there, you go down on the left main menu to what's called outside records. This will have populated some information that is possible uh, from different sources. You'll see over on the right-hand side, the top right, where it says Commonwealth Enrolled. So this patient is enrolled in Commonwealth, and this information has been imported into their uh, chart. Now, on occasion, you will also see that it says Commonwealth Not Enrolled. You can verify with the front office to see if they have indeed opted in or um, not opted out, let's put it that way, of our Commonwealth. Our patients are automatically opted in when they sign our consent forms. If they choose to, they can opt out. They have to sign and fill out paperwork in order to do that. Then our, our information will not be shared with other healthcare agencies and we cannot view other information from other healthcare agencies. If it says not enrolled, it's possible that they may need to be manually enrolled. Our front office personnel should be trained on how to do that. That occasionally will happen if their name doesn't match up. Maybe they use a middle name in our health record and only a middle initial in a different system. Uh, maybe a hyphenated name in one and a non-hyphenated last name in another. Maybe the date of birth is incorrect in one of those or does not match up. So those occasions can happen as well. If you see the patient enrolled, then you can click on this and you can get more information. You can also view the sources that it came from as far as the different healthcare agencies or hospitals that these records came from. So as a provider, you will also possibly need to view new sources or reconcile new sources. In that case, you'll see Commonwealth and it has new sources listed next to it. If you click on that, you'll have to confirm these new sources. So once you speak to the patient and says that they verified, yes, I was seen at Pomona Valley Hospital on these dates, then you can collect, uh, select confirm and update sources, and then it'll move from the sources to confirm to the confirm sources list. Now that you've confirmed the sources, there is reconciliation that needs to be done within the chart. At the provider level, you have to, you're the one that has to do the problem list. Our back office staff and nursing staff can reconcile allergies, home medications, and immunizations, as well as you as well. While you're here, you can simply reconcile those as well. Let me get to a different patient. 
and go to reconciliation in that outside, outside records tab. Under problems, you will see there could be some that are unverified data from outside sources. If they are, then you will click on this. A box to the right will appear, and you can verify this data. There should be options to add, discard, or add with changes if you wanted to modify the details of this problem. Once you do that, then you are able to complete your reconciliation. You can also do the same with allergies. You can do the same with home medications, and it'll be complete the history and immunizations. That concludes the training today. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at brian.yee at ventura.org. Thank you.